Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tobia. I'm going to be making a apple citrus crisp. Uh, this is a collaboration that I'm going with several people. It's, so please check the description box. And you know that you can find all the ingredients you need for today's demonstration throughout the video as well as in the description box. So I'm doing a collaboration with Anne's Family Recipes, Ellen's Home Made Delights. Nell's Super Recipes, Curry Mama, and American Topka. Um, so let's start with the recipe. So here in my bowl, I have one cup of flour. I have one cup of brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar, dark brown sugar. Choice is yours. I'm going to add to this one cup of oatmeal. You can use old-fashioned oatmeal or quick cooking, oat, quick cooking oats. So I have some instant oatmeal. I absolutely hate instant oatmeal, but I figure I'll go ahead and use these up to make the topping. So I'm gonna use three packages of this oatmeal, which is a one cup. You're gonna need one cup of oatmeal. You can use, and I'm used to using um, some flavored oatmeal, some apple cinnamon, just something I'm trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna add to this three quarters of a cup of butter. I'm just gonna, from all the ingredients together. Now you can use a pastry cutter for this if you desire, but I'm just gonna use my fingers since I have my gloves. I'm just gonna crumble this up until it resembles pea-sized crumples. So I have the, the crumble done, I'm gonna set it aside. So here I got some um, Granny Smith apples and I used six um, medium size, about the size, Granny Smith apples. And I have a juice from two oranges and one lemon as well as a zest from a lemon and an orange and i'm gonna pour that over so the apples i did peel them and i core them and i just cut them the even even size so to this i'm gonna add some more brown sugar the brown sugar just to kind of sweeten the inside a little bit so i'm gonna put in two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar and one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna to toss everything together. Now, if you don't wanna use uh, citrus juice, um, I would say use about three quarters cup of apple juice, if you wanna use apple juice. Um, of course, you can use uh, water if you, you know, don't wanna use any fruit juice. But the citrus, We'll give it lots of flavors as well as um, helping with um, preserving the color of the apples. So I have a three quart baking dish and this is some Delaterre. This is ceramic. So you can find out more about Delaterre in the description box. So I'm just pour this over into my baking pan here. And I'm just going to pat over my granola topping. Um, I just love the oatmeal topping, so I, I've made a lot of it. That's the best part. So I got my oven preheating on about 350 degrees. And I'm just going to let this bake for 45 minutes to an hour, just until the top is nice and golden and until the apples are tender when you test it. So... Um, Everybody's oven is different. It may, and depending on the size of your apples, it might take longer or shorter. But you're just gonna cook it until everything is nice and golden. So I'm gonna spread it across the top. So into the oven it goes. So here is the apple crisp. Now, I let this chill uh, for about four hours because I wanted to show you guys that it will thicken up. Okay, as you see here, it's really thick, but you got to let it cool off. I always get a lot of comments on my pie videos that the filling was runny. So I'm showing you here. I'm going to cut into it so you can see. It is quite thick. Okay, so, but you have to let it cool. Okay. And there, it's really delicious, buttery. The cinnamon flavor is absolutely delicious. I just love the crunch from the oatmeal topping. I ate a slice earlier. It's really delicious. So please try this recipe. Don't forget to 
um, check the description box and um, find everybody who is participating in this collaboration. You can find their channels in the description box. Okay, please remember to live and be well and let's come together and love each other. Thank you so much for watching.